This is rye left from uh, last year, last year's crop. We harvest this in June. It's mowed when the plants have reached maximum height and they're just casting their pollen. It wants to be mowed before there's any seed set because otherwise you're just spreading weeds on your field. But the early mowing gives you a chance that any weeds in your field won't have set any seed and they'll be green if they're in this bale, but it's the most weed-free mulch available, just har June harvested rye. If it's mowed with a mower conditioner, you'll have much better drying results. It'll all go, usually go through your chopper a lot better too. What we try to do is to mow our rye, bale it up, have it ready for our fall when we have to put it on as mulch. Most years we're not planting berries till June or July, depending on how the season goes. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.